Hi, I'm Josh Ozerski, and I'm a City Search Scout here in New York City. And I have an abiding interest in hamburgers. I know all about them. I've eaten every hamburger in New York, from Harlem to the Battery, good, bad, and indifferent. And there's a particular area that I've discovered called Hamburger Alley here in Manhattan. This is 9th Street and 2nd Avenue. It extends up 3rd Avenue. And I'm going to take you on a guided tour of Hamburger Alley. It starts here at the Selka. Here it is, the Veselka Bacon Cheeseburger. It's a thing of beauty. This is the Amy's bun, a million little seeds on it. Light, crackle. Listen, you can hear how crisp it is. This is like a thick, delicious, smoky bacon. The double cheese, a viscosity that matches with the robust flavor of the whole thing. The delicious char flavors, the brown Maillard effect. That is a tasty burger. All right, let's go to the next stop. So now we're in the Smith. The Smith is literally, we're two blocks from the Selka. That was on 9th and 2nd. We're here on 3rd and 10th. This is a more of a kind of a high-minded burger. It's a, a crusty artisanal roll. This is a kind of a... Uh, a white farmhouse cheddar from upstate New York, one of our local dairies, and of course the meat is by the great baron of beef, Pat LaFrida. Wow, look at what's going on over here. It just isn't fair. It isn't fair that so many great restaurants, great hamburgers, would be next to each other. Look at this. They even grill the bun on both sides, so there's like hot, it's hot when you pick it up. And also, to look how beautifully constructed this is. The meat is exactly flush with the bun. The bun and the burger completely made for each other. One dish, one thing, one whole, one love. All right, let me have another bite. All right, let's go to the next place. Here we are a block up at Blue Nine. After eating that artisanal bun with the cheddar cheese from upstate, dairies or whatever, I wanted something that was a little bit more, you know, kind of in the high dirt bag mode. And here we have a uh, essentially a Blue Nine slash uh, In N Out burger, just with American cheese, nothing else. As with all these burgers, there's no lettuce and tomato. That happens to be my own bigotry. Like New York itself, these hamburgers are a microcosm, a melting pot of a diverse community of hamburger eating peoples. All right, let's go to the next one. So I'm here now at Joe Jr's. This is our fourth stop on our little trip down Hamburger Alley. We're getting a patty milk. I'm mixing it up a little bit. Now this is a beautiful patty milk. You won't see something like this every day. And this is really something that is entirely a product of the classic diner tradition. You know, it's one of those things like the stuffed veal breast and jello afterwards or whatever. This burger falls apart. You take a bite, comes right away. Nothing pulls, nothing yanks. Doesn't have a weird over emulsified quality. <sighs> like I might have to eat some more of this. Then we'll go maybe one more stop to complete our trip down Hamburger Alley. Here we are. Terminus of Hamburger Alley. I'm here at Molly's Shabin on 22nd Street, 3rd Avenue. I mean, this is the last of the really great old time Manhattan Irish bars, especially around here in Murray Hill. And fittingly, along with the great atmosphere, the music, the sawdust floors, the perfect black and cans, is an immense, massive Irish beef bomb, an immense bar burger. And the fact that it is so different in appearance, taste, and atmosphere from all the other places just proves that even within the confines of Hamburger Alley, New York can accommodate every possible taste. Hey, I'm Josh Ozerski, and this is Hungry in New York. Be sure to subscribe to the Hungry channel to watch the next episode and to follow all of our City Search Scouts around the country. See you next time. Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.